You know what the reality of win-win trades in the NBA is? That usually one team ends up winning more than the other. And what better example to prove it than one of the most iconic trades of the last decade? It's been five years now since the Dallas Mavericks and Atlanta Hawks agreed to trade their 2018 draft picks in a deal that completely changed the future of the league. Young lets it go! Four seconds, got it from Kleba, again late in the clock, in desperation, he it up, And even though during the first few seasons of the NBA, both players almost instantly became the face of both franchises, including good playoff runs, it's possible that one of the two teams would reverse that trade today. Because while Trey Young may be an all-star and a difference maker, Luka Doncic is one of the handful of players you can put the word super before star. Even so, the funny thing is that this story has been repeated again. Draymond Green can famously name every team that passed on him. Can you do the same thing? Oh, easily. No right. question. Well, if Tyrese Halliburton was being honest, there probably shouldn't have been so many teams that passed on him. But the truth is that for the teams who chose not to select him before his actual draft position, it's partially his fault. And no, I'm not talking about the cliché work ethic and overachieving. I'm referring to the fact that it was Halliburton himself who told several franchises not to select him in the draft. The truth is, if I told one or two teams not to draft me, it was Atlanta and it was Cleveland. We've all been told all our lives that you have to trust yourself. But I've never known anyone who would take it to that extent. Telling a franchise not to select you on the most important day of your short career is a crazy person's decision or maybe a genius decision. Yeah, maybe it's the decision of a brilliant mind who's been able to plan his career so well that he's been able to see it from the beginning. Tyrese really knew he was a special player. If there's one thing that characterized Halley in his rookie season, it was the maturity. And let's be honest, his shooting mechanics too. Find themselves as a, as a unit and looks like they have. Uh, Halliburton. But the guard's ability to make the best decision on the court was incredible for someone with as little experience as him. The Kings already had De'Aaron Fox on their roster, who had also greatly improved his playmaking ability at the time Tyrese landed on the Kings with the 12th pick of the 2020 draft. The Sacramento Kings select Tyrese Halliburton. So Halliburton was forced into his secondary playmaking role, losing some prominence on a team that had not yet finished exploding. But the blessed problem the Kings had was that within his secondary role, Tyrese was still growing tremendously as a player. Sacramento had two of the league's brightest guards in their lineup, but many experts said they were incompatible players. Statements that were beginning to make sense for a very simple reason. The Kings were unable to win. When Monty McNair, who had taken over as GM of the California franchise just a few months earlier hit the trade button, Sacramento had a record of 20 wins and 35 losses. So finally, Halliburton got the freedom he was looking for. Specifically, he found it in Indiana which sent DeMontis Sabonis, Justin Holliday, and Jeremy Lamb in exchange for the guard, Buddy Heald, and Tristan Thompson. And at the time, what seemed like a merely interesting trade between two rebuilding teams turned into one of the most influential trades in the modern NBA. And that's just for now. There's no doubt about it, Sabonis has been an incredible player for the Kings since his arrival. It's going to be interesting to see just how acclimated Sabonis gets and how quickly the centers become a vital piece of one of the best performing teams in the entire Western Conference, which finished with a 48-34 record to qualify for the playoffs in the first time in nearly 20 years. An all-star whose skill set, while not very flashy, is extremely efficient. A great passer, good scorer, and excellent rebounder who reminds us at times of Nikola Jokic. A player who once again is averaging 19 points, 12 rebounds, and 7 assists per game with excellent scoring percentages. In short, a differential player. And he's just one of the two main reasons Sacramento's become a winning team, the other being De'Aaron Fox. The guard's continued his upward progression and has become an excellent scorer. His best weapon is his explosiveness, probably the fastest player in the league with an excellent first step and with a divine touch near the rim, which allows him to maintain very good shooting percentages. Uh, that was a tough one there. Here's Fox. Oh, oh Lord. Fox this season is averaging a whopping career high 30 and a half points per game, while also maintaining a career high in free throws made per game. FTAs being a stat that in the modern NBA is usually closely related to the league stars. From the Kings' point of view, the result is very clear. They were a losing team, they made the trade, and suddenly they started winning. 
it's impossible for their fans to think they lost out on the deal. And to any reasonable person, this is a no-brainer. But it's that the factor that could have tipped the scales for either side was that just like the Mavs with Luka Doncic, the other side of the trade has gotten a superstar. So much more confidence. Halliburton from half. Oh! And note that I don't say potential superstar, I said he already is one. The season that Tyrese Halliburton is having is unprecedented. In fact, it's totally unique. In the entire history of the NBA, there hasn't been a single player who's averaged at least 26 points, 12 assists, and 4 rebounds on 44% three-pointers for a season. Numbers that are the current status of one of the NBA's biggest sensations. But not only that, Tyrese Halliburton is coming off the third best season ever in offensive rating on a Pacers that have formed the best scoring system in the league over the last few seasons. A team that's breaking pace records and always seems to have the ability to kick it up a gear when needed. Halliburton's also putting together a ridiculous season in win shares per 48 minutes, with a figure that puts him just behind the second best season of Stephen Curry's career. Tell you he's like a he doesn't have the same handle. Shake him up, shake him up, shake him up! And while advanced stats may not always be accurate to determine a player's star status, they're often the most accurate numerical display of player performance. Tyrese is currently top 5 in the entire NBA in player impact estimate, offensive rating, assist percentage, assist ratio, and assist to turnover ratio. Rick Carlisle has managed to turn a great player and borderline all-star into a potential generational talent. And what Halley's doing is no fluke. His style of play allows him time and time again to find incredible passes. He's gonna go inside, Turner pounds it home! His perception of space allows him to read how defenses are going to rotate, and his incredible outside shooting. This man has never shot under 40% from three for a season, which forces his defenders to be glued to him as soon as he crosses the half-court line, a skill set almost impossible for any coach to contain. And the best proof is that the Pacers are comfortably in fifth place in the Eastern Conference and just played in the finals of the in-season tournament, which rewards teams that start the regular season strong. And all this without a second bona fide star. And the young, hungry Pacers with another impressive victory. But certainly with a roster of players that perfectly fit the needs of both the point guard and the former Dallas Mavericks coach, who was already responsible for the rise of Luka Doncic. So yes, the Pacers, one way or another, won the trade. Not only did they get the player with presumably the most potential in Halliburton, but they also got a player who's complimented him perfectly in Buddy Heald. But even though that may have been the case, it's true that the departure of Tyrese and the arrival of DeMontis have, in one way or another, allowed the Kings to establish themselves as one of the teams with the most potential in the entire league. Truly, every cloud has a silver lining. The Kings had to decide between two great players who needed the ball more to shine, and the truth is that both are current stars in the NBA. But man, don't tell me that this wouldn't have been scary.